YouTube is another way to get your name out there. This is mostly for people that like teaching, but you can use it as a ways to promote your artwork as well. For example, if you have a show and you take a video of the work on the wall or the opening, then you can put that on YouTube and tell people, your people that follow you on YouTube, all about your art show. That's a great site for that. I use YouTube to advertise my online classes and I put very short videos of what I'm doing in my classes and this gives me a chance to promote my classes. YouTube is designed for sharing videos so it's very easy to use. Video files can be very large. It's a very good way to share videos. It's a very good way to share videos that are too large to send by email. Remember that you can make these videos public or you can send them just to specific people to watch. It's very easy. First you create a channel, then you fill out all the information about yourself related to what you want to do with that channel. For example, mine is all about my teaching. So I create a short intro video that tells everybody that here I'm going to give you excerpts from my courses and it's all about teaching. If yours is all about your artwork and your art shows, you can tell them that. Then you create playlists. Playlists are just videos or a series of videos that you put on your channel. You share your content. You can share your work publicly or you can share to individual people. There's a way for you to analyze your data you can find out how many people are visiting you on your site. And this is a great way to create a little bit of publicity. Keep your style and brand in mind when you are creating these videos. For example, if you're a pencil artist, you can create videos explaining the difference between HB and 6B pencils and then send them to your website to see your work. This is just another means for you to promote your work. Keep in mind that this is work. This is something on top of your painting, on top of your regular marketing for your painting. So your task for this section is to check out YouTube, decide if it's for you, if there's anything you could do that would help promote your artwork on YouTube, and then start if you decide that it is for you. If you decide it's not for you, that's okay. But at least you've had a chance to know what it does or what it could do for you in the future. That's it for now. We'll see you in the next section.